In this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and set up a key and the logic that's going to allow us to unlock our treasure box using that key. If you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here I am back in Unity. I've set up a key. Now, what I wanna be able to do is to actually collect that key before I can open the chest. We have to do a little setup. One of the things I need to do first is my key. I actually need a collider on it so that our player can actually interact with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a box collider to this game object. And then we can see that it now is around that game object. So let's just zoom in here close to that. And one of the things I like to do, especially something that's just a little bit smaller, is to make that box collider just a little bit bigger than the game object so that we can give the user a little bit of playroom for being able to click on this game object. So I'm just making that just a little bit bigger. And I did that by editing the collider. Okay, so that looks pretty good. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is we're gonna go back to the game object that we're opening, which is the chest. So I'm gonna to go to my chest, my treasure chest, and I have in this, we've got the start state, which doesn't have anything in it, and I also have the interaction state. So the, the thing that we want to determine here is does the player have the key or do they not have the key? So we're gonna set up a variable here and we're gonna go ahead and have it set up as has key. And we want that to be a bool type value. I'm gonna go ahead and click add. And then you can see in the, when we has key, we can check if they do have the key or if they don't have the key, okay? So we're gonna check that. And we're gonna do that in the interaction. So I'm gonna take everything that we have in here within the interaction state that activate our light and opening the chest. We're gonna move that off to a new state. So we're gonna go ahead and add a new state and we'll call this open chest. So in the open chest, we're gonna take the actions that we have in our interaction and we're gonna switch those over to just moving those over to our open chest, okay? So when we hit the open chest state, then the things that we wanna happen are gonna happen, okay? Before we get there though, we need to check to see if the player has the key, all right? So the way we're gonna do that is with a bool test. So again, a bool is a true or false statement. So we're just gonna do a bool test and we're gonna add that. And then it's, you can see here in red, bool variable is red, so it lets you know we haven't selected it yet. So we're gonna choose the has key, all right? If it's true, we're gonna open chest. So let's go ahead and go to a new event and we'll just call this open chest. And we're gonna add that transition and we're gonna go over to open chest, okay? Then if they don't have it, we're gonna just go back to the init start state, okay? So let's just add back, add that transition, and then go back to the start state, okay? So we're doing a bool test. Do they have a key or don't they have a key? Now we need to go ahead and actually set up the key, all right? So with our key, I've got this game object that has a collider, and I need to set up a, a FSM for that key. So I'm gonna go ahead and just simply add an FSM and I'm just gonna unpack this real quick. Let's go ahead and unpack this because I have it as a prefab. Let's unpack completely. And with that first state, we're just going to, again, listen for the interaction. We're gonna set up just like we did with the chest. We're gonna have just a start state and I usually like to just call it init just in case there's anything I need to set here. And I want to be able to not have anything there. Then I also need to set up a global transition of custom and interaction. So this is what our player is sending a message out to. So now we need to determine what happens here. One of the things I need to do is to tell the chest that the player does have the key. We're going to set FSM variable and the variable that we're gonna set is a specific game objects. So we're gonna set our chest and we're gonna, uh, if it has multiple FSMs, we need to determine which FSM. If it only has one, we don't. But in this case, the variable name is that variable that we set up. So I'm gonna do this just to make sure we don't mess up. I wanna choose has key, copy it so we know that the name is right. Go back to our key. And then here, we're gonna send a variable has key. Okay, so we're gonna set what that variable is. We need to determine what it is. It's a bool value. 
and we're gonna set the value to true, okay? So once we've done that, once we've set the chest value to true, then we need to go ahead and just delete the key because we don't need it anymore. Destroy self. So we're just telling the, the key to destroy itself. So let's go back to our treasure chest. We have it where we're doing an interaction, where we have this bool test, the has key. If the player does have the key, we're gonna open the chest. If they don't, we're gonna make this false and just go back to init. If they do have the key, we're gonna activate game object and tween rotation of the lid. So let's go ahead and give this a play real quick and see if this works. So if I do click on the chest, you can see that I do not have the key and it's sending me back to the start state. So let's go ahead and collect the key. So now I have the key, and now if we go and click on the chest, boom, we have the key and we can open the chest. So there you go. There's a simple way of doing a pickup of a key and then being able to open the chest. Hey, hope you enjoyed that tutorial, something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.